In today's video, we'll be talking about batteries. Some common types of battery you would see at home nowadays, your AAA batteries, which in this case is a non-rechargeable one, AA batteries, which in this case is the rechargeable one, and your monstrosity right here, which is only a monstrosity when compared to the two batteries. Have you ever wondered why is this called 18650P? With a thickness of 18 millimeters and a height of around 65 millimeters called 18650. We'll be reviewing the highest battery capacity in today's standards in this kind of 18650 size. MJ1 high capacity 18650 rechargeable battery. And it comes in a box. It's very expensive compared to Samsung battery types. And this is the highest capacity. And in this small mass with almost 50 grams, you'll get almost the highest capacity that you can stuff inside this particular cell. It looks very genuine, even has a protection circuit. Risk of disfiguring fire slash explosion injury. Battery is not for consumer use. OEM only. If you can see the label, do not use this battery. You can probably use it in a Tesla battery or some sort of that. And yup, there is actually a Volkswagen EV car. 3.8 volts per cell. Uh, story for a long time. Let's validate this. Let's measure the voltage of this. Yes, it's slightly higher, which is fine, I guess. It comes with three different options. The flat top, the button top, and the protected button top. It's a very simple specification. The nominal capacity is 3500 hour. The maximum discharge is 10 amps. And the approximate weight is 49 grams, which is very accurate. How to determine whether it's legit or not, we could use Firstly, this one XHM240 battery capacity tester, which runs on a dummy load, which is a fixed resistor. Its voltage drop, current will drop. Thus, the capacity will obviously be higher than the rated 3500 mAh. So, this is not a very good approach. And the current is only half an amp. We don't have any more equipment. Oh, doorbell just rang. Let's take a look. Whoa. And we are greeted with a very nice packaging. The model number is DTL150 and it says it's a Shu Kong Dian Zi Fu Zai and She Pei Qi Mei Gui and EU Zhuan Huan Tou. Wow, looks like a CPU. Look at this. Okay, this one right here. You have your dummy load, Euro plug thing, and inside this is a little adapter, 12 volts, and this will be used to power the power supply at the back here. See, the packaging is a very nice impression. Big shout out to the manufacturer. So some people might ask, since all these are in Chinese, as you can see here, is it possible to change it to English? Well, the short answer is yes, you can. Just hold the on off button and to Chinese, you just have to press it again and now we can finally exit the menu. We just click on this and you can see everything is now in English. So this LCD is programmed by a very smart microcontroller and now we are going to measure the voltage of the battery. 4.17 positive will be connected like this and the negative would just basically connect it like this 1.75 amps which is the 0.5 C of the battery the stop voltage let's set it by holding the set button we are at constant current mode by default over voltage over current and over power let's set to 3 volts which is the car voltage for lithium ion batteries and we can turn on there you go you can see the voltage dropped to around 4.04 volts eight hours later i left the discharging overnight which is not a very good thing to do 
Let me survey the contrast. So you can see that the capacity is 3,055 million per hour. It's not the 3,500 it claims, but because uh, we are discharging at higher current, the capacity would be lesser than the rated. In the day sheet, this is tested to be discharged at 0 0.2 C or only 680 million per. So for the first try, I have 3,055 million per hour and an energy of 10.917 watt hour which is already more than 85% of the rated capacity of this but is it possible to push that number up higher? Now let's start and we'll see you So soon. within 2 hours, the battery voltage has dropped to around 3 volts and now we're going to take a look at the battery capacity and the capacity is exactly 3,007 million per hour around a slightly higher capacity for lower voltage start maybe with this trend maybe you get like almost 3080 million per hour for try three who knows let's try it and in three two one the capacity is slightly lower it's only around 3057 million per hour And the start is pretty much around the same as the previous three. The capacity is always above 3000 mAh. So this means that the battery is legit. Oh, the voltage dropped to around. Oh, the fan kicks in. Nice. And see, we are drawing around 13 watts and the voltage rapidly drops now we are already at 3.9 volts i think it's like more than 10 watts the fan kicks in so just before one short hour the battery capacity test is over and the battery is also not really very hot certainly it was just one to two degrees above ambient so that's pretty fine and the capacity is what is actually higher is 3114 mAh. And for the 1C discharge, you can see that we got the highest capacity of the four. The lowest energy is due to the fact that the time is much shorter, maybe around 15 minutes short. 24 hours later. 1C discharge test at 3.5 amps, and you can see that even with the high current, the battery still scored over 3000 mAh and a specific energy of more than 210 watt hours per kilogram. The last battery test, we are doing it at 680 milliamps or around 0.2 C and let's see whether it is possible to reach 3400 milliamp per hour. Later. Right, so the 0.2 C discharge test is finally over. And now we are going to see the capacity. And as you can see, we got a total capacity of 3,432 mAh. So it's actually higher than a rated minimum of 3,400 mAh. So this battery, LG MJ1 battery is very good. It exceeds its specification rated minimum of 3,400 mAh. Clocking in at an impressive 3,432 mAh and a total energy of a whopping 12.435 watt hours. So, this means that including the weight of the protection circuit and the nickel strip, you will get very close to the highest energy density that you can put in a lithium ion battery nowadays at almost 254 watt hours per kilogram. To find the voltage, of the battery, what we need to do is to take the energy divided by the capacity. 3.62 volts, which is also very close to what the data sheet is. 3.6 something volts. Yeah. And the discharging time took 5 hours and 3 minutes. And this battery is really very close to the 3500 mAh. The macro electronics seller claims so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one